every time I think the world has just completely fallen off of its rocker, the universe turns around and says, here, Jay, here's a little hope. This article is coming to us from LifeSite. Canada Tribunal re rules beauticians don't have to wax genitals of man claiming to be female. Ugh, thank you. <laughs> After the James Younger uh, jury made that decision, it was, it, it was bleak, it was dark, but just a little bit of hope. And you know what, that's all you need. All you gotta do is hold on to this hope. This is a bit of a follow-up to a couple of videos that I did a few months back featuring this Norm from Cheers and a dress-looking individual called Jessica Yaniv. Let's get into this. The British Columbia Human Rights Tribunal ruled today against transgender activist Jonathan Jessica Yaniv, who had made formal discrimination complaints against a number of female beauty technicians for refusing to wax his genitals on the premise that as a woman, he was entitled to be serviced by them. The court ruled that aestheticians who work from home have a right to refuse to handle male genitalia against their will. Oh, oh, thank you. B-C-H-R-T. Good job, okay? Because really, I'm a woman. Yo, I was, I was the, the the back in the day when the right would sit there and talk about, you know, oh man, you know, ma the, like the marriage situation, um, being a gateway. This is this is the fruition of everything that they'd warned us about, and yet here he is. Human rights legislation does not require a service provider to wax a type of genitals they are not trained for and have not consented to wax, the decision stated. The decision further found that Yaniv engaged in improper conduct, filed complaints for improper purposes, and that Yaniv's testimony was disingenuous and self-serving. Thank you. Oh my, see, this individual went to multiple beauty spots and a couple actually agreed to do it for him but no 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 no, no. he didn't want to deal with them he wanted the ones that refused to do it this, this is this is some of the most disgusting behavior in, in like recorded history the tribunal finally noted that yaniv was evasive and argumentative and contradicted himself himself while giving evidence Self-identification does not erase a psychological reality, said Jay Cameron, the Justice Center's litigation manager and counsel for the as sessions. Our clients do not offer the service requested. No woman should be compelled to touch male genitals against her will, irrespective of how the owners of the genital identifies a brother. Jay Cameron, Jay Cameron, I owe you a beer. OK, <laughs> seriously. I mean, this is Canada, so I, I owe you some poontine, all right? The trans activist, who calls himself a proud lesbian, made international headlines this summer for his discrimination complaints launched against 16 beauticians for refusing to wax his male genitals. Reports for Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms. Jessica Yeniv identifies as a woman, but, 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 oh my goodness, Jay, but possesses male genitalia. In March 2018, Yaniv approached a, the anesthetians and requested a Brazilian to remove pubic hair from the groin area. When the anesthetians refused to provide the requested service due to a lack of personal comfort, safety concerns, a lack of training, and or religious objections, Yaniv filed complaints against them, alleging discrimination based on gender identity and gender expression. In total, Yaniv filed 15 complaints against various asticians in the Vancouver area, seeking as much as 15,000 in damages against each astition. Yaniv has made numerous public comments against immigrants. At the hearing, Yaniv contended that immigrants use their religion to discriminate against trans people because they refuse to wax the male genitals of those who identify as women. <sighs> Golly, my brain hurt. That's why I had that's why I kind of had to slow down while reading it because just it's so my brain can only handle so much stupid. Okay? <laughs> my brain can only handle so much stupid. The Justice Center represented Blue Heaven Blue Beauty Lounge and its owner, Sandeep Banapal, who is an adherent to psych religion. His Miss Banapal testified that she was not trained to wax male genitals and that it is not something I am comfortable with. The Justice Center also represented 
Suki Gill, who was forced to close her business due to the complaint against her. Oh, wow, seriously? Like, this is what they be talking about where, when they say, like, all this genderism, all this transgenderism hurts women. Because, you know, she had a business and she had to shut that business down. And Yaniv couldn't care less. Miss Gill, also a practicing adherent of the Sikh faith, provided waxing services only to female clients, attending alone at her clients' homes. She explained in her response to Yaniv's complaint against her that it is contradictory to it's contrary to my faith to provide waxing services to, bi to a biological male. Yaniv had requested that Gill attend that that Gil attend at Yaniv's personal residence to perform arm and leg waxing services. Finally, the Justice Center represented Marcia Carnabu, Carnaba, a third, a third esthetician who was suspicious about Yaniv's behavior in advance of the appointment and canceled it as a precaution. Miss Kanuba, or Kaneb, Kaneba, whatever, also does not have the necessary training, tools, or comfort level to perform waxing services on male genitalia. Miss Kanaba, Seriously, Miss C chose closed her aesthetic, her aesthetic business following the complaint against her. Wow, wow. Okay, other than the hard to pronounce name, um, that's once again, you hurt women by doing this type of stuff. I mean, I, I don't like anyone, male or female, being hurt. Like, what's between your legs doesn't matter to me. These were two ladies who had started businesses and were trying to, you know, do something for themselves. And you have this individual come through and wreck both of their shops. I hope they sue his balls off. The Justice Center noted that an expert in genital waxing testified at the hearing, informing the tribunal that aestheticians who are not trained in male genital waxing should not attempt to, to wax a penis and scrotum due to the risk of serious injury to the customer. And isn't that like, that's the first thing that jumps out to any male. Like, why would you even ask? <laughs> like, like, no, like, no, not at all. You saw, I mean, I don't know if you saw the 40 year old version, but imagine that type of ripping off at your taint. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Oh, a, a shock just went through me. The expert also testified that the necessary prolonged manipulation of a client's penis and scrotum often results in sexual arousal and a request for sexual services. The expert said, so basically he was trying to use them like, you know, he was trying to get a happy ending out of it too. The expert said her salon's refusal to provide sexual services has resulted in name calling, intimidation, and customer requests to masturbate in her salon, the Justice System, the Justice Center reported. The Justice Center noted, the Justice Center noted that most of the women who were the target of Yaniv's complaint work out of their own home are of immigrant background and have small children with them in the house during the day. A publication ban had identified Yaniv at, only as JY for most of the proceedings until the aesthetician successfully brought an application to have it lifted. The tribunal ordered costs against Yaniv to the amount of $2,000 $2, payable to both Benepal and Miss C. So that's the end of the of the article but the deal is is that when it comes to the children like this individual jessica you i mean their background they they try to have a pool party with no adults like oh if you're over the age of 60 of like 17 don't come through just leave your four and five year olds here with me with me jessica you bruh bruh nah <laughs> so glad i really am that some body some entity stood up and said no this is bs and honestly both of those ladies deserve way more than two thousand dollars and honestly you should be hit for even more like you was trying to come at them for 15 nah they should hit you for like 50 like you should give both of these ladies fifty thousand dollars not a piece you know twenty five thousand dollars a piece and then just for the state, and you wasting the state's time, you should also get hit with another $50,000. So it's $100,000 that Jessica Yaniv would have to come up with to, 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 to compensate for the complete and utter waste of time this was. And you know what? I can't help but feel like that should be a thing. Like when it comes to courts and it comes to the um when it comes to the Me Too and everything else like that, penalties need to start coming down for people who are putting out all this frivolous nonsense. 
Like that you if you go and you want to clog up the courts and waste time, I bet and we gonna charge you every penny and double for it. So if if it took you know sixty thousand dollars of taxpayer sixty thousand taxpayer dollars to have to have your whole proceedings take that judge time take the bailiff time take everybody time so if it paid if if it was like sixty thousand dollars then guess what you got to pay one hundred twenty thousand dollars done guess how guess how quickly you will start having the courts like clear on out because this is ridiculous it really is man and it gets under my skin that you know people are more than willing more than happy to let it get this far God, because everybody wants to sit there and feel and worry about people's feelings and oh my goodness oh i gotta worry so much about their feelings yo your feelings matter nothing in the grand scheme of things do you not know that existence is but the mere blink of an eye when it comes to time you know time and, and space and all this other stuff your existence is nothing but it, it is less than an than than an, than an atom in the grand scheme of things you know so that, that this nonsense for real Ah, oh, guys. <sighs> so, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it, like, dislike, yeah, go ahead, do that too. I ain't scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to give videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch shooting alike aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here. And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Um, I I'm just glad that this nonsense, like, uh, th this this one story in particular is over and hold this l mr yaniv that's right mr yaniv i'm I, I don't play the delusions of the grandeur game okay i never have i never will it's just <laughs> like why we got so many more important things to worry about and your ass want to sit there and be like oh no i have a vagina oh, I'm, I'm like a chick i'm the same thing as a woman this is the gender nonsense this is why i speak so this is why as all i speak so harshly against the gen the, the whole gender quote-unquote science as i do because it's not science it's complete bunk that's just there to this to to um what's the name to uh, subvert biology to give people bullshit excuses but you may feel differently about it. And that's what I got a comment section for. So until the next one.